Hi everyone. So, um, I know it's not Tuesday and I usually try to upload on Tuesdays, but I wanted to do an unboxing of <laughs> two of the cups that I received today. I'm going to do two different videos. So, uh, the first one that I got was the Super Jenny. And the second one is the Lena Cup. So this video is the Super Jenny first. And I did contact the company um, to ask them if I can use their photos and their uh, website information. So thank you very much um, to the Super Jenny company for allowing me that or granting me per permission. So they are um, in the USA. California to be exact, and um, it does show that they're from California here on the box. Uh, they are made out of, their cups are made out of medical grade silicone, and they are uh, US FDA um, approved. And the cup itself I think was $18 and then $4 for shipping, which comes out to $22. Uh, a little over 22 there was some change anyhow I just cut the box open I didn't actually open it yet so this is my first time opening it completely and this is how it came with a little um, air pocket so I'll take that out I hope I'm not going to make a whole bunch of noise um, the my invoice here let me see how much it was exactly for you it was really inexpensive. I was I was happy with the price. Twenty two ninety five. And they do only come in one size. And I think it holds a little over an ounce um, to the rim here. Where's the front? I don't know which way is the front. So I'll just do um, a turnaround of the box. Size two, maybe. Um, maybe they're going to have another size later. I'm looking on their website right now. Oh no, this is the only size they have, but they do offer two cups, a set of two cups for thirty-two ninety-five, and then just a single cup. Cute box, cute packaging, comics. Uh, I love it. Um, here's the top, real quick. Their website. And Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram information. And here's the cup wrapped up in a baggie. And also a little pouch here. And there's nothing else on the inside. So here's the little drawstring bag. Uh, they don't have a little instruction manual or anything, but they, I'm pretty sure, oh, they do have a user user guide on their their website. So here's the and where my scissors. Sorry, so unorganized right now. I'm multitasking today, so I have a lot of stuff on my desk it's stuck. So it is molded with their name here. That's so cute. And on the bottom by the stem there's stars, which is their um, grip, or uh, in between their grip rings. That is so cute. It kind of looks like a Wonder Woman boob. Um, <laughs> The ball at the end of the stem is really nice so that your fingers don't just slide off of it. And there's really tiny grip rings on that stem. It's kind of uh, an antenna style stem, which if you haven't seen my videos before, I call it my anten or the antenna style um, because it reminds me of that old uh, cartoon, The Jetsons. But that's a nice nice stem. I like the grip on that. It looks like it has a good seal if you need to cut some of that stem off. You can see um, just that bubble right inside where the seal ends. 
right there. So you have a good amount of room to cut off if you need to. And it has the uh, measurements there. 15 milliliters is a half an ounce. So there's quite a bit of room to you hit that suction release hole. There are four suction release holes on this and it does say uh, made in the USA here, molded in. Um, there are seams that, I don't know, can you see that seam right there? But I can't feel it. They finished it off really nice. It's smooth. Can't feel it one bit. Um, and these holes are, I don't know if they're punch drilled or molded. I guess I, I could have asked when I emailed them, but it looks like that they were um, molded and then brushed through, uh, but they are straight in. And it's not really, really firm, but not really, really soft either. Let me go grab my cup bin and then do a real quick um, comparison and see which cup it is uh, most similar to in the the resistance. I'll be right back. Okay, so I did a squish test with some of my cups and the closest that I could find to the resistance is probably the cup Lee and I'm gonna do this kind of awkward because usually I'm using a regular camera for this but uh, using my the palms of my hands to do this you can see the inside of both cups and now uh, the rims so that's pretty pretty similar there and also the juju is a little uh, a little more firm and this is really uh, I have a piece of lint from one of the pouches that were in my box so the juju is on the bottom here and it's a little more firm you can see the super jenny caving in just a bit there and also the rims um, the the shape of it is a bell shape and it's kind of um, it's wider than some of these these other bell shapes here's uh, the juju large so it is um, it bulges a bit more here at the top of the bell. Let me see if my Sibel is um, the same shape. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to leave this camera on, so don't mind the mess behind me. Just go over to my sewing desk. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so it is kind of larger than the Sibel. Again, it stays bulged right here. And I'll go ahead and measure it, but I should have just brought my whole box over here. Uh, measure it up against the Diva Cup, since most people know that cup, if I can find it. And maybe the large Maluna. So here's the Diva Cup size 2. And the Maluna uh, Classic Large. It looks like it's a very high capacity capacity cup, probably really good for people that have uh, heavier periods. Um, and I know the bell shape, a lot of people say that it is better for, or not better, but um, people with a low cervix find that bell shapes fit them uh, better. It's more comfortable for them. So. Um, uh, I'm excited to try it. My period this this last cycle, I don't even know if I actually had a cycle. I started spotting and uh, according to my app, it said I should have had a period. Um, but I don't know. So I'm just going to have to wait. I'll go ahead and take it on a dry run. Um, but until my period comes, I won't know how, how it goes. But it feels really nice. Um, it is like a peach skin kind of feel to it. It reminds me, the, the outside reminds me kind of a, 
kind of of the uh, lady cup. Hold on again. I left that one on my desk too. The outside kind of reminds me of the the lady cup. You can see that it's got that brushed finish. And when I pinch down on it and pull, my fingers don't just slide off of it. So it does have that peach skin feel to it. And without grippies, you can still grip it. So I'm excited. I want to try it. Uh, and I'll do a complete review on it after I do actually get to try it on a cycle. So on with the uh, Lena Cup. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. See ya!